the tropics in the western pacific have been rather unusually calm this year this is looking like the first month of july on record in the western pacific we had no named storm systems compare that up with the atlantic they've been seeing a uh, record busy season out here so it's not a global phenomenon but there is something happening out here in the western pacific that is unusual why it's happening I'm not quite sure, but there are a few things going on. So let's talk about it in this video here. First, take a look at the satellite picture, and you can see a few things here. One being the rainy season front still dominating the Korean Peninsula over through northern Japan. Actually been moving pretty slow this year. And this extends back towards southeastern China, where there has been an abundance of rainfall. Actually, severe flooding filling up the Three Gorges Dam here as of late causing a lot of stress on that dam one of the biggest in the world so that's all thanks to this record-breaking rainfall but thanks to that rainy season front we have been seeing a lot of strong upper level winds across the east china sea southeastern china and really stretching down towards northern areas of the philippines what this provides is a ridiculous amount of shear for this area and what i mean by that shear basically is changes in winds from the surface up to the upper level get that much shear as shown from this graphic from the university of Wisconsin you get basically typhoon killing winds or tropical storm killing winds for that matter as well now there is some stuff further down towards the south that would be conducive but we also need tropical waves to develop into the uh, about 10 degrees north for things to really spin up but over the past 40 days we haven't had any real um ignition for these tropical waves one reason is for a lack of the madian julian oscillation and in fact this is from the climate prediction center from the 14th of june to july 23rd the madian julian oscillation has been really over the indian ocean and across the western hemisphere and this is why you have been seeing plenty of storms in the atlantic and also over through the indian ocean but nothing nothing at all in the western pacific it just has not even present it's not even weak it's not strong it's just not there present and when strong the oscillation can actually really engage several storms and that's when we often see maybe two three storms at a time is when that's peaked up to high levels with nothing there it just doesn't provide that extra lift and especially upper level support for the ignition of tropical waves and you need those tropical waves first before you actually get some spin up now as far as precipitable water out there there is so much moisture available sea surface temperatures are above average so it's not a lack of that it's not cooler sea surface temperatures It's not a lack of moisture i think it's a few things we have basically just still too much shear uh, in some of these areas further towards the north and plus the oscillation just has been present now like i said why is that i'm not quite sure there are a few theories going around out there there is even some fringe theories that indicating that maybe has something to do with the lack of air travel but it, i i really am not quite sure and i would like to hear some of your feedback on this and see what you think because i i think some of those fringe theories would uh, impact global patterns um and it doesn't explain away why the atlantic and the indian ocean are so busy compared to nothing really happening out here in the western pacific it's just unusual um, I would even dare say it's almost unprecedented considering we've never seen something like this. The month of July since satellite era and definitely since records began out here. So uh, it's, it's pretty interesting. Uh, and in the near term, there's just nothing coming up in the forecast. Uh, long range models still show nothing. So yeah, I want to hear some of you guys' feedback on this as well. Uh, it's just kind of my two cents on it. It's a video I've been meaning to make. Just pretty busy, so I haven't had time to put this together. Stay safe out there, guys. As always, thanks for watching. And yeah, let me let me hear your thoughts. All right.